Hi, this is Ronnie and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be using my How to Kill a Kit with Style and I will be scrapping those two pictures of my great nieces and using the autumn part of my kit. And I am going to use some of those glitter stickers. Yeah, remember one of my goals is to use some of my phrase stickers because I have quite a few and haven't really hardly ever used them. I like them. I just always are, I'm always wanting to make a different title. I have scraps pulled out and I have vanilla paper and I'm going to end up doing the vanilla paper on its side. It has embossed like Ferdelis. I think they're or Ferdele. I don't know. <laughs> I don't speak French. Did not take it in school. But it is a French word. I can tell you that much. And yeah, uh, I had other vanilla paper that I have been using, but I pulled these out for some reason and did not, like I said, did not realize they were embossed. I didn't think I'd be using that leaf paper. I thought I'd probably just be using it for photo matting or the other side, which I do use the other side. But then I got to thinking that if I put it at the top of the pa page, that it'd be kind of like leaves falling and yeah and it is autumn picture even though their dresses are sleeveless sometimes we have very warm days in autumn here i think our autumn we went from hot to a few nice days to 20 some degrees at night yeah it did not last long at all for our autumn i pulled out the borders that it was in my kit that was left over from other layouts that couple I think I hand cut out of probably a border or maybe one of those sheets that has uh, cut aparts I'm not sure but and then that one there the one I'm going to end up using I think it came from a die I think it's a Sizzix die that I have it looks like it anyway and it don't reach the whole 12 inches so I will have to cut and cover it up with my pictures. But I'm used to that. I used my rusty hinge ink and went around the edge of the vanilla paper. And also on that orange burlap that Jennifer gave me. I thought at first about using the burlap as a photo mat. But since I was using two photos, it didn't go quite far enough. And so I decided to cut it down and make it like a ribbon. I think it turned out really good as a ribbon. The brown border is going to go below it a little bit. And then I'm also going to use a branding strip and cut it down and put it over the top of the brown. And then I'm going to bring some twine in and put it on the orange burlap. So I'm going to have quite a few textures there and just a little bit of each thing. And there's where I'm cutting down the branding strip. And I thought... I can add a little more of the teal it's behind the pictures and I could add it on the border too and that was the piece right there had just a little bit left on it and I thought at first it might be enough so I held it up there no I needed just a little bit more and I am saving the rest of that and I am actually going to end up using the rest of it before my layout's over and since I use the ink on the other things I decided I better ink my pictures and I'm putting foam tape behind the one that looks like they're a little bit closer to you and they're also facing the camera and I love it when they take pictures of them walking away or from the back my family thought I was crazy when I first started doing that but they liked my layouts when I got done and I said see you like the picture all alone and just didn't realize it and I'm cutting into this 12 by 12 strip. I, it's hard sometimes for me to cut into the 12 by 12 just for a small piece. But I am because I really wanted some of that green on there. And it's gingham also. And I think it goes just fine with the other one on the page. I don't, I don't think it take one takes away from the other or that they clash either. I like them both on here. And I'm going to go through the sticker sheet and it's going to be hard picking out what I want. 
I considered several things, but uh, yeah, I had a hard time deciding what stickers I wanted. As you can see, I just put it right back down because I couldn't make up my mind. So I decided to go ahead and add the twine to the burlap. And it's an orange, but I went ahead and added the ink to it also because it is orange and white and everything here is cream based. Although some of it does look white in the video, it is all cream based. And I don't mind mixing the two, but sometimes if, you know, a little thing like that, I might as well just go ahead and ink it. And here I picked the sticker sheet up again, and I will take that label right there, and I tucked it right between the two pictures, but I don't end up using it there. I don't end up using it at all. I pulled out a stack of pumpkins and a sticker that says give thanks and I'm going to use it kind of like a board sign and I decided I wanted to have a trim around it so I am using the brown since I only have brown up there in one place so far and I am going to move them over just a little bit they're not going to be quite that close to the edge I was looking at the green up there and decided I wanted to repeat it down at the bottom and I still had some more of the strip I cut off, so I cut it smaller. First I thought about keeping it the same size, and then I said as small as that area was down there that I wanted to make it smaller. So it's more narrow, but it's longer. It is, it is longer. And again, I'm looking at the sticker sheet, trying to decide what to use. And I'm going to end up pulling out... Uh, the little plastic container that I had cut apart in and I had cut some oh, one of the pages that had leaves on it one night when I was watching TV I'd fussy cut them and put them in there but I'm going to end up pulling them out and use them when I was cutting them I was wondering are they really going to be big enough to even want on my layout but yeah I ended up using them so I do like them and see how tiny they are there is such a pile in there and they are definitely tiny. I put ink on both of those things, so I, you know, I I just love that rusty hinge color. It's it's such a nice orange, and it goes. The more you put, of course, it gets darker. So if you put very little, it's almost a yellow. And I am. This is when I decided to go ahead and use those little tiny leaves and they're, I'm going to work them into this little cluster and I am going to put some of them up on foam t tape also. They're going to be small but they're going to be up on foam tape and it does take me a few minutes to get them all the way I want them and there are different ones and I put that stack of pumpkins up there because I thought I would put it there but I am going to end up putting my title there I had a hard time deciding where to put my title I didn't plan ahead usually I have the title figured out in my head which one I'm going to have and know how much room I need and today I didn't I just figured I'd get it off there and slap it on there and no planning ahead at all which wasn't that good. <laughs> I'd rather my I would rather have planned because I think I would have liked it somewhere else than if I'd planned ahead, but I really can't see where else I could have put it. And I'm going to end up using Let's Go. And see, I started to put it down there, and then I put it there on the green ribbon, but the Go isn't going to look very good anywhere because it's kind of a dark gold and I started to put it lower and the brown was there so I'm moving the let's let apostrophe s up higher and putting the go on the ribbon and it does look better in person you can tell that the titles there even though it kind of blends in with the leaves on the video and Yes, I am putting a couple of more leaves down there. I wasn't done. Uh, I, I started to work on that heart with the love. And I, I guess I got sidetracked because I planned on getting some leaves out to work in there. But, yeah, I ended up working some more down in the left-hand corner instead. But I will go back to that heart. And I will add to it. And I'm going to add a word to it.
or it's going to be beautiful. And of course, when I put it up there, I thought I need to put a frame on it like I have a frame on the other one. And so, yeah, I'm pulling the brown out again. And I will have to put it on double foam tape because the picture's there and it has three layers. And then, of course, the foam uh, sticker, thicker heart is there. So I, I had to add double foam on the right hand side and just plain foam on the left hand side. Just one piece instead of two. And I wanted to make sure I got it high enough that you couldn't see the bottom of the frame. I wanted everything to overlap so there wouldn't be anything there showing of either frame on either picture. And here I'm pulling out the leaves that I want to use on that part. And I end up using some of the brown. I did. I don't think I ended up using any of the dark brown on the bottom one. But since this cluster is so close to the top and there are some dark brown ones in there, I decided to go ahead and put some dark brown ones in there. And I also used some little teeny tiny, uh, oh, I guess they are gourds. But they look, once I got them cut out, they kind of look like leaves. So I went ahead and used them like leaves. And once I put them on there with the leaves, you couldn't tell any difference because they were kind of nestled in. But yeah, they're not really leaves. I just wanted the other color. And here I was thinking I was done. So of course I put out my Heidi Swap in gold. And I sprinkle it. And then I'll decide I need to add an... Another little tiny, I guess you'd call it cluster, <laughs> up in the top right hand corner. And uh, I didn't even wait for the gold paint to dry. I just went ahead and done it. So that will be the next thing that I do. Oh, and I tried to add one of those wood buttons again. I really liked them, but I just couldn't find a place that I liked it at. But looking back on it on the video, it looked just fine where it was at. Uh, but these are just going to be strips and I'm going to add a word and it says crisp leaves so it's a little teeny tiny narrow sticker so I had to make these narrow because I don't have much room there and so I had to find a narrow sticker to go with it and I will go ahead and pull the Heidi Swap color shine back out and add a few more sprinkles there and I don't even cover up my picture because I didn't actually sprinkle. I just put them in the spots that I wanted them at. But yeah, and I think that's it. I think I'll be done with my layout once I do those things. I can't offhand think of anything else that I did. And of course, my layout is in the other room. I cannot believe I didn't bring it in here. Because I usually do, so I can look at it. And as you can see, I'm just adding them in the spots that I want them instead of actually sprinkling. Since there isn't much space there. And when I first picked it up, it did make a blotch right on the sticker, but I wiped it off. Because it is a slick sticker. And let's see. Oh, I added a couple leaves there too. So since they are tiny, they did not take up much space. So yeah, I did add a couple. And, oh, I remembered my enamel dots. And these are the glittery ones. And I only had one big one. So I don't have three different sizes and two in my clusters. But I wanted to use these up with this kit. So I am going ahead and using them instead of putting them back and saving them for something else. And looking at the page, I thought I needed to make it look like my ribbon went all the way across. So that's what I was doing right there. I inked it and just cut a little tiny piece and I'm putting it there. And here I'm trying to use one of those wooden buttons yet again. But this is my layout. I did add a gold arrow down there at the bottom and put part of an asterisk up there at the top right hand corner so I could spread the gold out glittery stuff out uh, around the page a little bit more but that's my layout and I really appreciate you stopping by to watch if you leave a comment below it can be a question or just chatting anything I'll be sure to respond and if you um, like the video and hit a thumbs up I'd appreciate it and if you are not subscribed to my channel I'd love to have you subscribe 
But I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Thanks again for watching. Bye.